Okay, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it's uh, July 12th, 2012, and it's time for me to send in data from my pacemaker, I'm pointing but you can't see, to my pacemaker to the cardiologist office. And in order to do that, there's this device here. I've got it plugged into a phone line and this is what I'm going to put over my pacemaker and I don't have to um, take my shirt off put this up here for a little bit and do this cord here okay here's the it's going to go over my pacemaker So I'm going to give it a try here. I'm going to put it over my pacemaker. I'm going to press the start button. Now I'm going to take the camera over here so you can see. It should hopefully find a phone connection and my pacemaker. I guess first it finds the pacemaker. We need all of these lights to light. I forget now it's been, whoops, it's been, uh, ah, okay, I moved the pacemaker this thing a little bit. I don't think we want a yellow light, I think it is. Or do we want a steady? I can't remember. This saves me from having to go to the cardiologist office. I tried this once before making it okay, we got a few more lights. And for some reason, it's, I guess it's camera shy. It just didn't want to cooperate. I'm hoping this time it will. I do this about every three months. Like I said, it saves an office visit. Okay, we got more lights. We don't want the last light to do something strange here. I think it's acquiring the data right now. Or is it acquiring the phone line? Okay. Last one's flashing. I think that's good. But I think we need it to be steady green or something. I think if it's yellow, that's bad. Okay. So we've got the phone line connected. Okay. Can you see over here now it's moved this over here. Actually, I think I could move the thing off my chest, but I'm not going to take the chance because I think it's already, I think now it's um, attempts to dial in and send the data, I believe. Ah, dialing now. Can you hear that? Just like the old days with the 300 baud modems. Yep, maybe 1200 baud modem. So that means it's got the data, and I could remove this from my chest, but I'm not going to take a chance. Because I think it acquired all the data, and now it's transferring it. And at this point, I think everything should go pretty good. It's going to send this data, and the data that it sends is. Uh, everything. They can tell, I think on a certain day, what my heart rate was at a certain hour. And of course, if I was at the cardiologist office, uh, they could adjust the pacemaker. They could tell it to, to, to beat faster or slower and do all types of things. Last time I was actually at the doctor's, the cardiologist office, uh, they said that the battery indicated that it was good for another 10 years. And so I'm uh, 71 years old, so they shouldn't have to go in for a battery replacement until I'm 81. 
I think my son over in the corner is sitting over. I think he laughed because he doesn't think I'm going to make it to 81. My ex mother in law is 94. I got a friend whose mother is 104 years old, but my son thinks that I'm going to croak here any minute, I think. So the data should be going. And before long, we should get a light. that tells us that we are successful. I don't know, you might be kind of tired of looking at a flashing LED, but I'm afraid to even move. <coughs> like I said, I do this about uh, once every three months. Saves me, you know, I do it uh, like they schedule me like a year. I, the last time I was there, I don't have to physically go to the cardiologist's office for for a year. Taking a while to send all this data, isn't it? But if this is a connection at 300 baud. Remember, the, if some of you were, well, a lot of you weren't born, but my God, 300 baud is so slow. Even 1200. My first modem was 300 baud. Then I upgraded to 1200. And now I've got, uh, what is it? 30, what is it? 30 meg down or 30 gig down? 30 meg down, I guess, speed. And five up. Um, I'm getting tired holding this camera at this flashing LED. Can we assume this is going to work? Come on. Okay. I'm going to count to three and I want you to be complete. One, two, three, no. Now I'm going to move this probe anyway because I know that part's done. I'll try to uh, Try to add some camera work to this to make it exciting here. Come on. I hope their device is on at their end. Well, we heard it answer though, didn't we? Yeah. I think we did. We heard it dialing. Yeah, we heard it answer. So. Maybe I shouldn't have done this at 9 a.m. Maybe everybody else is, that has to send their data on this day. Maybe everybody they're sending their data at 9 a.m. also. Well. Come on. My hand's getting tired. <sighs> well, what else is new? Let's see. I, for the last week or so, I've been having some pain below where the pacemaker is, but I think it's like a muscle or something. Now my hand is starting to shake here. Ah, it's Thursday, club meeting tonight. Never been to the 
club meeting. I'm not a member, but it's an amateur radio club very close here. This is taking a long time. I'm going to put the camera up here. Okay, now, now that I move the camera. There we have the green light. So we're all done. Okay. You can hear the trash truck outside banging. Thanks very much for watching. Hope this was entertaining. I'm sure it was uh, educational, right? And funny. You laughed hysterically at all the jokes and everything. Thank you very much for watching.